Why don't you try to be a housemaid? The salary is high. We should find a place and live together. I will raise you. I'm sorry, but Julian can't live without me. I want this job. A housemaid of the Foy family. Run now! We gave your application to the Foy family, but they had found someone. We will keep your application if you still want to find a job. If I see you beating my mom again, you will know the consequences. I don't have money. He must go Dutch by himself. Then I should give you a lesson. But we are roommate from now on. I really want you to get well again. You just want me to die to get my position. I've known it for a long time. Episode 2, A Big Change Sorry for disturbing you. Are you okay? Nothing. Just a mother-son quarrel. Is this your friend? She is Viola. Viola. This is Mrs. Lena. The one I saved before. I always wanted to pay Ginny back. But I didn't think I would meet her here. She gave me so much food. It's just some snacks. What are you doing, Ginny? Do you have any future plans? I'm in my final year. I don't know about future. I just want to focus on present. It's hard to find a job due to the economic downturn. I know. But I will try my best. You are optimistic. How is your job finding? I'm failed. Are you finding a job? She wants to be a housemaid. I heard that this job had a high salary. I know a place. I can promote you to them. Really? The owner is my friend. She will hire you. It's good. Do your best. Thank you very much. It's nothing compared to the fact that you saved me. I'm running out of beer. Go buy some. I don't have money. I will ask Ginny when she goes home. I don't care. Buy me beer. But Ginny hasn't come home for three days. I don't know where she is. Ginny is missing? I get it. You should take some rest. The hospital bills are high. My plan is gone. Don't worry. You have Mrs. Lena. I saw that she really wanted to help you. I will try. Ginny, where have you been? I had some urgent works, so I stayed at my friend's house. So that is... I thought you had an accident. Did you find me? I did. But I couldn't go far. We still had Julian. You know his personality. I take a rest. I will make dinner later. Wait. Do you have money? I don't have any. But Julian wants to drink beer. I only have this much. Thank you. I will pay you back soon. Why do you come here? I want to visit you. You must be happy when I wasn't there. I heard that you were doing a good job. I have to do my best for you and my sister. 
So why do you come here? The Foy Corporation will have an exhibition for their 50th anniversary. Many big corporations will participate in it. Just observe the situation. The Foy Corporation will have an intermarriage with the Lynch Corporation. This is a big chance. They are in their decline phase. The Lynch Corporation can't help them. Just take a look. Go back to the company. Where have you been? That's what I say. Where have you been? And you? Drink beer again? How can my mom love a useless guy like you? Watch your mouth. I won't be polite anymore. I don't need you to be polite. If you are a real man, bring money to us. You useless. I wish I had money to leave this house. I'm sick of that old man. Did you submit to that place? It's a big mansion. I don't think I can work there. Are you scared of that place? Just do it. You have Mrs. Lena. You're right. I have nothing to be scared. I will submit it tomorrow. Don't mind your stepfather. Just do your job. This restaurant is good. Why are you here? It's been a long time since I went to a restaurant. Can you serve me? She is an important customer. Do your best. We know. Beefsteak looks nice. Would you like your beefsteak to be medium well and cut into small pieces? Please do. Please wait for a while. Here's your dish. Our chef cooked the beefsteak as you requested. Do you always serve your customers like this? We talk with customers to learn their hobbies and tastes so we can adjust dishes to suit them. Our manager said this was to show our friendliness to them. He's right. It's a good way to serve. I have eaten in many famous restaurants. But this is the first time I've seen a place like this. If you like, it's good. Your restaurant is perfect. I will be back. You did a good job. Why did she come here? Maybe she wanted to change her tastes. But I have more courage. I will submit to that place tomorrow. You are so optimistic. When will you pay the debt? I don't have money now. But I will do my best. Hurry up or I will crush your house. Don't do that. What happened? The debt collector. They want me to pay the money. Then find a job. I will ask Ginny for help. We can pay the debt soon. Shut up. I don't want to work. I don't like those owners. But you can't pay the debt if you don't work. I can't always borrow Ginny. That's your problem. Ginny is our daughter. Tell her to pay. Why was I slapped? I just told him to find a job. But I can't ignore him. Why are you still here? I have something to talk. What's wrong? If you don't have anything to say, then I go to sleep. Where are you going? What do you want? If you want to talk, then you can go away now. I'm your father. Give me money. Why must I do that? Why don't you make it by yourself? Aren't you still telling her? What does he mean? The debt collector asked Julian to pay. 
Please let him borrow some money. If it was you, I would pay. But this useless? Never! If you are still a man, pay it by yourself. Don't eat off us. You useless. Ginny, wait! Who are you? My friend instructed me to submit here. Are you Ginny? Do you know me? If you are Ginny, give us your application. We will call you later. No interview? We will call you as soon as possible. It's strange. They took my application and told me to go home and wait. Maybe they have so much candidates. It's still strange to me. Mrs. Lena promoted you to that place. I don't think she would lie to you. See you tomorrow. Who is Jenny? It's me. Who are you? When will you pay the debt? I don't owe you anything. Why must I pay? Your father owes us money. If you don't pay, we will crush this place. My daughter Ginny is working in this restaurant. She has money. You can ask her. It's all your fault, Ginny. How dare you shouted at me. Now fulfill your filial piety.